hi guys, it's Anamika4 here with two Samsung Galaxy S4s. So we're going to take a look at the remote viewfinder feature on these devices. So if you've got two S4s nearby, bring down the notifications area, get to your tabs here and turn on NFC on both the devices. Once that's on, come out of it. So what we're going to be doing essentially is using this device as a viewer and we want to view the viewfinder on the one on the right hand side. So what we'll do is load up uh, the camera application. Here we go, so I'll put this one down a second. And what we're going to do, once the camera application is loaded up, see this cog in the top left? Tap that. It'll give you some more options. At the end of the options, you've got the sharing option with uh, off next to it. Tap that. That gives you a sub-menu. On the sub-menu right at the bottom, you've got a remote viewfinder. Tap that. Essentially gives you three options here. Easily connect, Wi-Fi direct settings and cancel. Now easily connect, it still uses Wi-Fi direct but it initiates a connection via NFC rather than just going for the di Wi-Fi direct setting. So we're going to do the easily connect one. So here we go. And then all you do, put the devices back to back, here we go, touch the beam and then separate them, here we go. Now they're saying connecting, we'll give it a moment or two. That camera application hasn't actually loaded on the left hand side device so there we go took a moment but it's connected there now you're gonna say well they look exactly the same what's the difference well the difference is if I just bring them landscape way side to side I'm not gonna move the one on the left hand side because this is the viewer so we'll leave that as it is but look at the one on the right hand side Ooh, some craziness going on there while the camera was looking at the other one but if I aim the camera of this right hand side S4, it displays it on the left hand side one. So I'm, again, I'm not moving the S4 on the left hand side. The one on the right hand side S4, I'm going to aim it at my TV monitor here. And you can see the remote viewfinder feature is very handy, especially you want to record something that's around the corner maybe and you don't want to pop your head through. That's awesome. Now I've got an Android ornament around the corner out of shot. So, so what I'm going to do is move, there we go, move the second S4 to look at it. And as you can see, the remote S4 is seeing what's on the screen. How awesome is that? Now this works fine over a couple of meters. I want to try this out in the park, see what sort of distance we can get out of it and what sort of quality it looks at. So let's head over to the park. So here we have both S4s. The one on the left hand side is being used as a display unit. So the one on the right hand side is the actual recording device. So the remote viewfinder feature is being sent from the one on the right hand side. So if we just pan that around a little bit there, you can see the device on the left hand side, although it's not being moved itself, it's receiving the footage from the one on the right hand side. So what we're now gonna do is just move away with the S4 on the right hand side see sort of what sort of distance this is capable of staying connected to so here we go you can see the right hand side s has walked away and on the footage here you can see still going i think you may have got to about 10 or 15 meters maybe there still recording you can still see the footage and there's the other S4 in the background there may have got to about 30 35 meters something like that I think still recording we can still see the footage and he's panning around now as you can see still receiving the footage from the first S4 there he is, way over there. What's that, 30, 40 meters still? 35, 40. Still receiving the footage. I think it may be getting a little bit jerky now as he gets further away. Still receiving it though. Look at that, still absolutely. Panning it around still. 
and let's see if you can see him over there. Where is he? Let's zoom in. Well over 40 meters away there. Still walking with the S4 there. Still sending the remote viewfinder signal to the secondary unit. Still going. Look, he's panning away. And is that still going? Yeah, that is still going. Yeah, nice shoes he's got on. <laughs> have a look where he is I can't even see him but let's see if we can zoom in with the camera and see where he's gone just standing by the tree still let's have a look and we've still got the remote viewfinder feature let's see if we can get him to go a little bit further we're zooming in a little bit and he's gone past the trees well over 50 meters away well it's starting to lose the signal there look it's very pixelated and it's actually stopped moving I think that has. Yep, that's actually stopped moving, so I'm guessing that's lost the connection itself. Brilliant feature. And there we go, the screen's gone dark and it's gone back to my normal view. Yeah, if I move my hand out of the way, get a feel for that snow. I'm standing by a tree. As you can see there, it's now returned to the normal viewfinder on my S4, the one I've got in my hand. And if I see yeah my boy's coming back there so he's realized that it's lost the signal to this uh, remote unit so that's absolutely amazing 50 plus meters away and it still kept the signal although it did get sort of choppy as it got towards the higher end of the distance itself but absolutely brilliant feature taken from the Samsung Galaxy camera. I would have liked audio to be transmitted across to the remote device as well as the video, but you can't always have what you want now, can you? So that was a look at the remote viewfinder feature ported across from the Samsung Galaxy camera onto the Galaxy S4 smartphone. So what do you reckon? Is it any good? Let me know in the comment section down below as well as any other comments or questions you may have. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.